Hello, my name is David. I'm with Santan Solar, your one-stop shop for all your solar needs. Now, um, there's been a few things that I wanted to point out that when uh, anyone who gets the uh, 6,000 um, uh, 6, XP from EG4, that there are a few things you have to do in order to use their battery, which is the uh, Life Power 4 um, a battery here, this particular one, that it is a requirement to get this updated. And I explained that in some earlier videos and how to get this upgraded to work properly with this, because this will say you have to do that before you can actually use these batteries with this unit. Now, the other things I wanted to point out was that once you make your selections and you upgrade your battery, you have it connected, everything's working fine, and then you realize, well, why isn't there any AC output? It says that it's doing it, but it doesn't have any voltage going through there, and you're kind of curious as to why. Well, I ran into this little issue before, and uh, what had happened was that there are a few settings that you have to go to in order to disable them so that you get the 120 output from your AC uh, terminals. Uh, your line one, line two can produce the 120 volts for each of those lines. And it was very simple, actually. Uh, it's an economy mode and a, um, uh, a, a power saving mode that you have to disable. And then once you do that, the 120 volts coming out of your line one, line two output uh, for your loads will then be active and you'll be able to go ahead and utilize your, your unit uh, so that you can power your devices and appliances. So right here, uh, we got the uh, screen set up where we're noticing we're only getting like one volt. It just kind of goes back and forth, we get 60 Hertz. So we'll just go and, co and correct that. We'll just go to setting number 20. Setting 20 is where you have the economy mode and your uh, power saving modes. And when you have those set, it allows uh, your system to go to like in sleep uh, of sorts. So it doesn't have any power going to the, to the loads. That way you don't have a surge or anything. So to turn those off, you'll need to shut those down. So what you'll do is you'll go in and then disable both of those features. At which point when you do that, you'll see that you'll be getting your 120 through your loads and that way you can run your appliances and devices.